And our good friend, the Initiative Tracker, has come back. Because somebody decided it was go time. So there we are. But on bump next. Man, look what's happening? Willpower. No. So I believe that means he's going to take four points of physical damage. Have a nice day. Well, huh? How many hits did he get? I got seven. Yeah, yeah oh, you're going to seven. Seven, and what was the fourth of the spell? Eight. Yeah, he's good on that part. Ah, wow. Wow, well, that this. Five physical. I'm so sorry, Mr. Katana. No, it's four physical. Seven hits on a force eight spell. Oh. Against his three. Seven minus three is four. Is yeah. it net? It's net hits, correct? Yeah, net hits. You did it right. I, I, I assumed you rolled eight on the force eight. I don't know nope. why. Okay. Wonderful. He is not happy with this. I wouldn't be. Yeah, I mean. He's he's still standing, but he is unhappy. Uh, so Tara. Oh, hello. You start us off. Okay. Uh, whoa, how did, did, oof, can I get like a little square on the map? Uh, where, no. Where, where did you leave this? You're in that blue square <laughs> thing with the circle <laughs> next to it down here. Yeah, I was like, you're in the dumpster, right? Okay. You're right there where I no, dropped no, no. the circle. I, I'm rigged into the steel links. I mean, not the steel links. Doberman. Doberman. Yeah, Which prepared. is that is where the Doberman is. Next year. All right. Body. right. Well, yeah, I, I, I hear something. So I guess this entire turn will just be to control vehicle as I... Scoot, uh, this is a wheel thing, right? Just going to yeah. drive on out. To like, hey, guys, what's going on? Oh. I do was talking shit. <laughs> it's a, it's entire complex action. Right? Yeah, it's an entire complex action to control the vehicle. So that's my turn. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, it's, 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 there's no roll. You just do it. Oh, okay. Well, it's a. It, are you moving it anywhere? Or are you? I am just driving it around. I'll go over here. I'm not doing a stunt, so I don't think I have to roll it. Okay. Yeah. Um, question is, is the wall high enough to block the truck, or? It's eight foot tall. That's high enough to block the truck. So That's then, a yeah. lot of wall. Is there, uh, enough space to get the truck through said hole it's, in the wall? It, it, it is not the scale. That is, that is a large, I'm not, that would be big enough to get a semi into. Well, it's a good thing I'm he's just a pickup truck. I mean, he's just a pickup yeah. truck. So. Right, I think it I is... am also going to drive suspiciously around the uh, the corner. Um, and I will double check what it takes to to pop my my turret. Uh, it's um, are you rigged in? in an action. I think it's... No, I think... It is normally concealed. Um, I think that's a simple action. Yeah, I think it's just ready weapon. Okay. Is the steel uh, links thing concealed? Oh, man. No, that's just All right. hanging out. Have a nice day, because that's just... Um, like, the links itself oh. comes with a, a mount. You know, with a Doberman... Ugh, where is a Doberman listed? DM these not Doberman, okay. Speed... Oh, wow. This is one fast road. Yeah, don't break it. Did a lap around the block. <laughs> acceleration? No, it's acceleration is only one. Never mind. <laughs> Not the fastest. Everybody for um, so yeah. Four pilot. I I hope that Grog smiles as the the pickup comes trundling around the corner. I'm gonna smile when it fires and it doesn't hit me. <laughs> That's when I'm gonna smile. So that's gonna be my uh, my control yeah. of you um, the turn, Greg. All right. Um, well, like I said, the the katana guy has already been sh hit, right? With the uh, yeah, yeah, he, he's oh. been he has flinched. 
in some as part of him has been hit by cosmic radiation. And he's like all necrotizing. Like, ah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, His face kind of looks like terrorists. Really gross though. Tinker, the only thing I'm going to be worried about with you is making sure that that card doesn't go over the over the quay wall, which is that concrete drop, um, and into the water. So please don't get it near the edge. Um, I'll uh, draw down on the guy with the submit. How far away are these guys from us? Uh, depends. I mean, you were sitting there talking to them, weren't you? So I mean, yeah, I, would imagine I was talking you're like, with them. You're fucking. Um, there i should make you in a different okay, color right there no that's fine that's that's red. completely fine red I'm for anchor going troll. To look and uh since i already have my gun out i'm going to nice draw thing. down on the uh guy with the katana since he already took damage and we're going to do the whole focus fire thing and i will shoot out this guy um and s- is the multiple defenses get minus die just melee? It's only when he's shot at, so he doesn't take a penalty for being zapped. Okay. Like he didn't do, um, like if he did an indirect spell, he would have to worry about taking multiple attacks because that's something he can actually dodge. Okay. His arm does not like you. Good. But otherwise, he is unaffected. <laughs> Bad. You have torn okay. his new his his new bouncer suit. Okay. Cool. And then I'm gonna try. I'm gonna basically move uh, in between. Make sure that it's me in between Jurgen and him. Um. Moving things uh, is, I mean, like, super you're... difficult. I can't... Move, I... Moving things? Oh, he's like... talking about on the drawing. Ah, don't oh, worry yeah. about it. We yeah. don't have to have a, a play that, Yeah, I don't need an optical out. thing. I just want to make sure that I'm in between me and yeah, you're and him. That's you're... all. I don't, need to, I don't need to see what's going on. Boo, maps. Map. Boo. <laughs> they help me. Yeah, it's good. Sorry. It's good for spatial awareness. Uh... I think I could probably it's good for like general awareness. We don't need it for combat. No, I'm just being um, a butt. You are a butt. Um, so that's Grog. Knife guy. Kni- <laughs> uh, knife guy's gonna he's gonna knife Grog. He's close. He's big. He's easy to hit. He's not that easy to hit. Oh man. Let me tell you about the faults of knifing a troll. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> pretty good with that knife. And if he was a little worse at that, he would have stabbed himself. <laughs> oh, whoa, that's almost a glitch. Yeah, no. I was, but... That's the soap? Dodge. That's soap, not dodge, but uh, you yeah, know that, what? That, that's I my don't armor. Think yeah, but you have to dodge a knife deck. You can dodge it with reaction intuition. Yeah, you, you can actually dodge it before you soak, you know? <laughs> he doesn't Whichever to me. <laughs> reaction and what? Intuition? Yeah. yeah. Like you just need to be two. I get two. Or me two. <clears throat> Our defender wins. He very dramatically manages to uh, swipe the arm of your jacket. Um. He's yeah. Nice. That's his. That's his entire thing. The guy with the SMG. He's also going to shoot at you. <laughs> Poor Grog. No, this is uh, this is what I go for. I have no problem uh, with that. that. I know you don't have problems with getting shot at. 
Oh man, no. that's pretty good. Red tat tat. Uh, red tat tat. That's, that's a burst that's, fire. That's red tat. Yeah. That's a lot of red tat tat. Agrav, we need you to get nine hits on nine dice. <laughs> For yeah. dodging? Yeah, actually, eight hits on eight dice because. You're... <laughs> <laughs> What a jerk! I was gonna say, am I actually am I dodging this or am I? Yeah, yeah. but it's well, you could start fire, so you dodge. get. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, reduce those net hits at least. Holy crap! There we go. We got enough. So uh, now it's what he's got to soak four. No, no, no he soaks four soak. plus whatever gun I decide he's using. But oh no! I'm a big fan of the Ingram smart gun. It has a silencer. It has a gas vent built into it. Nice. It has all kinds of yeah, things. sure. That's on your that, that's literally on your sheet. So that's what I'm gonna use. Yeah. Uh, eight, nine, twelve. Uh, twelve AP zero. So soak twelve. Oh, soak uh, twelve. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, soak twelve. Cornet hits plus eight damage value for the gun. I mean, I think it's still stunned for you, but yep. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right. it's still stunned, so you got that going for you. Uh, okay. And then Katana's going to have a swipe at you. Oh, That's my God. Grog, no. <laughs> you did a lot of talking. Good. Uh, Grog, we need you to live. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Sorry, brother. I go last. <laughs> yeah, you do. Not today. Not today, indeed. Um, you do take a minus to that because of uh, your minus one. Yeah, that's yeah. minus one. So also, that'd you still be the think... last one off their sets. Oh yeah, I mean you. Six. If I gave you all of the the minuses, you still would. You're fine. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's Jurgen's turn. What does Jurgen do? Grok, do you need me to heal you? If you remove stun. Uh, yeah, you don't have to. I'm still like six blocks away from being down stun wise. Oh. Hmm. No. All right. This is what I'll do. I mean, you wanted to crispify him, so crispify him. Do some DMG. Boom. Oh, <laughs> this poor guy. Uh. Keep going force eight. Oh my god. Jurgen. I'm That's what it's he all has good. the foci for. I don't have actually have a foci. <laughs> oh, not yet. I still have it. Uh, this is just me. This is just me you, going you crazy. Just, you just want to take physical drain all day. <laughs> ah, I'm fine. See? Totally fine. Uh I mean man. you have a fetish or something on that one? What do you mean? So uh I it would be five points, so that is a point of stun. Yeah, no, I know. Okay, well, that's a point of um, physical. Yeah. I'm fine. It's just one point of stun. It it's not physical. It's stun. Don't worry about it. It's oh wait, no. Oh yeah, he didn't actually go over his magic. Yeah. You're right. No. So so okay. till you're looking like indirect spells, which is what flamethrower is. Work like a gun. Yeah, shot. that's just reaction. Okay. So reaction plus intuition for him to dodge. Yeah, you know, the, the normal dodge. The dodgy dodge. Oh, wow. son of a. Fire hot. Ten fire P is hot. AP fire does minus much. eight. Do what now? Ten P AP minus eight. Okay. Let's let's play the how how dead is he game. <laughs> oh no. No, that's Can fine. I want this guy he's dead. He's so good. No. <laughs> yeah, I want this guy dead because he's not he's not Razor. He's not the guy we're looking for. Yeah. What's really murdering them at the door? Oh well, they shouldn't have <laughs> yeah. stopped me. We are horrible people. Yes, I am, and I'm okay. oddly okay with that. So the damage value of a of the indirect combat spell is my force, which was eight plus my net hits. 
Yeah. And the, yeah. And the AP is equal to force. It's a the force. force. Because, yeah. Okay. So. Ow. 12 points Ten. of damage. <laughs> Do, do, 12, 13. Yeah, 10 points of damage. Seven fire. He's not having fun. Well, plus the four from before, so that's an eleven total. Because I hit this. Uh, oh, he's crispy. Yeah, yeah he should be he's dead. crispy. He, he's crispy oh. and dead. Oh, he's out of boxes. He's in overflow. We're just dead, dead. Oh, that's dead, 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 oh. dead. That that four from oh. earlier plus this. No, he's yeah. dead, dead. You he monsters. <laughs> I'm pretty sure even if it was Grog, Grog might be dead, dead. <laughs> and just to be clear, physical is wise? absolutely laughing just like that. Yeah. Oh. Jurgen, why? I, I just have like this little picture of like Jurgen popping out from behind this troll's giant thigh and like flamethrower right in the face. No, oh, I can, I can no. take 22 before I'm dead, dead. No. Oh, yeah. No, no. That, that would be the one that knocks you unconscious. <laughs> That would yeah, eight. Uh, four plus eight, so twelve. I think that's that's your first point of overflow. Not fun. Yeah, I would be down. That'd be my first block of down. Yeah. Boom. That's fun. Look at you. Look at Jurgen going ham. Heck yeah. So Jurgen doesn't go again. Katana doesn't go again. Um, Tara, you're back with fifteen initiative. What do you do? All right. Well, I'm seeing the F- SMG dude rat tat tat my friends, and that that's not cool. So I'm going to call. Pre edging. Because I want that gun to not be a thing anymore. Oh, let's see. So this would be ballistic. So four. Uh, 14, 17, 86. Oh, and hopefully this explodes really good. Yep, it exploded really good. Damn. Edge. Holy shit. Um, he, he responds. I literally to can't. I literally. Uh, he can't make enough. He has eight dice to dodge. You, you get. His, All right, he takes gun. no damage, but this gun is just gone. It's like blasted out. Of oh, is that one hands. of those things that doesn't take damage? Yeah. I don't need to worry about net hits. It yeah, he's not trying to kill them. He's just trying to disarm the guy. <laughs> I, I no no. If this was him actually shooting at the man, he would be dead. Yeah. Quick, Grog. He, he's disarmed. He Crush dead. his face. Oh no. Oh, I'm trying to minimize casualties. <laughs> my right, favorite my part turn. about this is the story of the poor man in the Doberman who made the world's best shot to knock a gun out of a man's hand. Only for the murder crazy dwarf and Grog yeah, to bubble his face for this into thing. Oh no! He needs to live. He probably has a family. So, uh, so Tinker? So, um, yeah, turn, come around the corner, see gun go blasting off Team Rocket style. <laughs> um, I will pop up the heavy machine or the light machine gun and rev my engine menacingly at them. For a wonderful intimidation roll? I mean, I don't know what you want to... Like, I don't actually have the intimidation skill, so I don't know what you want from me, but I would be I happy did. to... I'm to gonna let it. you default on that with a copious grog. Uh, uh, Paul, let's... Let's see. Let's see what... What are you playing with here, buddy? Uh, I hate your... I hate... <laughs> I keep looking at everyone else's chopper sheet and yours keeps throwing me for a tip. Um, yeah, it's just because it's better. Two. It so is a, it is a crime wave mounted on the back of a Toyota Gopher. Holy shit! <laughs> um, it's what, what I was crime? shooting Grog with last week. Oh, poor yeah. Grog. There were reasons why I dropped. Okay. Um, 
For intimidation, I will let you roll your intimidation dice and default with a plus six. If you would like. Alright. Well, that's me. Right. Because it's a simple action to, uh. Yeah. To reveal my mighty. My mighty gun. I... <laughs> and I think, um. Gunnery is complex, right? Um, gunnery is complex oh. if you're taking a complex. What, what, what gun are you using? Crime oh, so it's, it's as the gun? Can't, yeah, Cal, so can you single shot? Yeah, as when Rigger 5 came out, it's as the gun. Oh, well, in that case, screw your intimidation. And I'm just going to, uh... The simple full auto. One of the dudes. Is gonna have a very bad day. Um, so I actually have to look up what my six fourteen. Seriously, oh, that's a lot of DACA dice. I mean, it's a lot of Daka dice for four hits. He is <laughs> negative five to his defense pool. Eesh. What the heck is her agility? She has jumped in. Oh, right. Using, well, I did not add that dice. Using that, that die. Brain. Yeah, she probably has a good control rig. It's ready too. It's good to get that, Jen. Um, so you're using yeah. his reaction plus intuition, negative five. Negative five. Yeah. That's that. right. It, 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 let's reroll that then. Because I'm smart, I swear. It's fine. It's almost as if like this is your first time behind the wheel and I should totally judge you for everything you do. Savage. <laughs> It's okay. He's consistent. There you GM go. dice pulls. It's magic. Twelve a. Are you including the net hits? Because yes. okay. He is down. On the ground. You gonna you gonna roll some soak? If this goes wrong, I am I am doing a lot of mental math. I'm sorry. All right, who, who are you shooting again? Knife or SMG? Uh, the SMG guy. That's the guy that had the gun shot out of his hand. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, he's, he's, he's out of the fight. I, I will shoot the one that's farthest from Grog because I don't want him thinking that I'm accidentally shooting in his general direction. Oh, this poor SMG guy's having so a bad day. So it would have to be SMG. <laughs> Oh, because <laughs> the knife and the katana guy were right up on him trying to stab. Oh, he did better than I thought he was going to do. It's pretty good. Uh, SMG man is unhappy. Very unhappy. Um, All right. How much damage did he take? This poor guy. Enough that he's unhappy. All right. Six. He... So he took six. Poor guy. That's that's meta knowledge, though. That's he took fifty percent HPs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks um, like he's half alive, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Do you guys know why everybody likes HP? Because it's the life of the party. Oh. Uh, God. <laughs> It's Grog's turn. Okay. Um, so I'm engaged right now, right? Yeah. The cuffs. Yeah, and knife guy tried to stab you. Nice, Katana guy's guy. dead. Yeah, it's just you and knife guy. Katana guy's dead? Yeah. yeah. So, 
I'm going to look at this cat and, you know, I told your buddy where he'd end up and this is where he is going to end up and you're next. And I'm going to unarm this guy because I know if you shoot in while you're engaged, don't you have a negative to it? Negative two, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Something like that, so. not the greatest. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure a troll punch will do it. We'll find out. I'm going to say this, right? Didn't yeah. realize I had to do this much math on the fly next time I'm bringing a calculator. Yeah, it helps. You have a computer, right? Yeah. I, I do. Your computer has a calculator, doesn't it? I don't want to mess with the setup I have right now because uh, all my windows okay. are in a very precarious position of me finding uh. information I need on any reasonable time. <laughs> oh. I start with 12, I'm, 9, I'm gonna... 20. What do you mean, 12, 9, Oosh. 20? Um, that's that's two. Yeah, you just rolled. Yeah, it, it it's two successes. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't. I was gonna edge it, but okay. A little. Oh, late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. That it's is right. my bet. I'm in my two successes to two successes. Then he dodges my attack. Yeah. Now, if you want to edge it, since that's my bet, you may edge it and beat the shit out of him. As you said, you were gonna do it before I did it. That is me being a dumbass. Okay. You don't have to, but. Yeah, because I want these guys going down. Yeah. I get one on it. Yay. So that's one success over what you had then of the two. Yeah, and right. now it's strength plus your bone missing. Yeah, whatever troll stuff you have to punch him with. Yeah, so that's seven and then ten damage. Nine nine P damage. Yep. Plus net heads. So, 10 and 12, so that's 12. Do I gotta roll something else or? No, this is me. Okay, just make sure that I'm not doing something wrong. You, you are good. This is um. um that's why I should be three successes off of the what, 10 damage it was it was nine I had nine plus the, oh, you, my nine plus my three will give me a 12 oh you got three net I uh, know he got um you have one net hit so you have right, so, 10. Oh, so yeah so that'd be 10 then yeah nine he takes nine damage that'd be four. um which is not enough to knock him down. Is it enough to knock him down? No, it's not enough to knock him down. Oh, I've tried. Okay. So, knife guy. Um. <laughs> knife guy's going to put his hands up. This isn't worth his life. Okay. He's a smart guy. Now, does SMG yeah. man feel the same? <laughs> SMG man quite quite feels the same. Um, <laughs> they they they're going to they're, they're both going to put their hands up, um, and kind of just kind of nice guys just going to lean against the side of the the building and kind of slide down. Uh. <laughs> SMG man is is gonna kind of walk over, hands up, and just kind of be like, "Please, please, I'm sorry. Please don't kill me." What do you do? I don't know about anybody else. I'm down with letting these guys live. They're leaving us being. They're gonna let us go through. You guys done with that? Of course I'm down with that. Why do we have to kill the guy with the katana? Are they standing near each other? Like they just like kind of hanging out, like next to each other? Yeah, in in that kind of concerned, 
way that they would be hostage-like, I would call it. Oh. Damn. Holy <laughs> shit. Jerry can give no fucks. It's a stun um, ball. I'm putting people to sleep. It's all good. It's all good. Why force eight? Why are you um, Because I want to make sure they go unconscious, man. That's that's resisted with willpower, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it's um, physical now. Oh, God. It's all good. Don't worry I mean, about that's it. That's physical for Jurgen. Yeah. I'm Which okay. works out for him. Um, just roll this as a group. They go night night time. Boom. Probably. For plot reasons, they'll go night night time. I mean, cause it's either that or you're getting to zap them again. <laughs> yeah. And it keeps going night until night. they're out. Well, it, it's a direct damage spell, so it's stun ball. Boom. They're down. So all yeah. they, you know, against their either, it would be body or willpower. Willpower. And for and stun ball. But yeah, it's a mana spell, so it's willpower. And so they got, you know, they got one success against my eight. <laughs> so they took seven stun damage each. Yeah. Um, well, just for plot reasons, they go night night time. <laughs> okay. Because I just don't see the point in making it roll again. Yeah, it's just boring. So what do you do? There's a door. I'm I'm going to pick up this dead body by the throat and then let Tinker say what he's going to do. Going to send out a quick message like, well, that was uh, riveting. Are you, uh, you guys quite done? For now, until I get inside. I'm going to break out my med kit and look at Grog. Be like, you need some? Sure, if you want to get rid of some of this. I will get out of the uh, the pickup, pull a, a small step stool out, and begin resetting the, the concealability on my turret. <laughs> 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 Oh, all right, he couldn't get the good one. And then to myself, you can't, uh, you can't medkit train, huh? No, I'm, I'm using the medkit on him and then medkitting me. Medkitting you to do what? To heal myself. Is it all drain? What do you mean? Is all the damage that you have taken from drain? No. Okay. Wait, were you shot? Well, I took. Oh, I guess. Te- I guess technically it is drain, isn't it? Because I was thinking it was yeah. it was stun versus physical. No, no, no it's still drain. Yeah. yeah, it's still drain. All right, it, never mind. Yeah, drain and fading can't be healed by anything other than sleeping. Well, I can heal it, can't I? Oh, no. really? I can't. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I okay. know. No, that's fine. <laughs> feels great, right? Yeah, it feels just fine. I'm really not that far down, man. I don't know why you're all freaking out. I'm freaking out because you're killing yourself while casting spells. All right, spells, so bro. I am now going Barely. to open that door, dragging this lifeless body with me. I'm going to drop it whoa, just in. Huh. Let's just take a look inside, see what the, uh, see what's going on in there. Oh, That's oh. what I was doing. I'll take a oh, seat. wait a minute! You have a better means of doing that, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go right ahead. Take a little sneaky peek. Oh, oh wait. Oh, wait till this flyby goes. Is there a spot that I can find to uh, to fly my fly spy inside? Yeah, on the roof. You know, I like lots of warehouses. I have like those big kind of vent shafts on the roof. Uh-huh. For, yeah, those. They have those. They go in. There is a there is a fan. You it is not on. Yeah, let me see about getting this little fly spy inside there. She will uh, sit down and leave the building, as it were.
Um, is that for just to to get inside without you know find yeah. a uh, a proper path that kind of thing. You're good. All right, so I'll just kind of come in and uh, start looking around. And I will roll some dice for looking around. I will I will post spend a point of edge, sir, to to keep all of the details as time and space is made clear to me. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing you didn't upgrade the sensors. To seven? No. Are you serious? Well, you could push it to... I pushed my other fly spy to six on my other rigger, but yeah. That's a lot. Okay. So... 6,000 new again. Inside. 300% the cost of the drone. Worth it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, so... Inside... There is, uh, there's some stuff on shelves as, as you would have in a bunch of shelves, like lines of shelves, just sparsely got some things on them, boxes, crates, um, in the back corner, kind of where the, uh, that boat is, there's, there's a, a warehouse office, you know, uh, the light is on. Uh, there's a couple people just kind of they were milling about, but now they they're kind of like at the ready, sort of near the uh, the door for the warehouse office area. A um, couple of people, Let's see, three more people. Um, it's all of its shutters are closed. Can I get what a, would you like to know? How many people can I get a uh, account on? You can get an account on three by the door. And since time and space is open to you, there will be one in the back left corner. And there will be one kind of sort of in the middle. Kind of going towards the the entrance at a concerned rate because gunfire. Yeah, there was a little bit of that. Yeah. Um, are they armed? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the ones next to the door are wielding wonderful, wonderful assault rifles. Um, cause they, they, uh, they're big boy, Babysitting bodyguards. Um, the other, the other two, are rocking um, some SMGs of the wonderfully generic silenced type. Mm, Ingrams, can I tell what the what kind of assault rifles they have? Uh, I have. Uh, I actually have some armorer skill. Yeah. Um. We're going to play the let's look at tables game for names. <laughs> um, I AK 98s. There you go. Oh, In, including underbarrel one. grenade launchers. Oh, you know it. <sighs> what? What? Underbarrel grenade launchers. <laughs> oh, uh, All right. So we're going to have to kill that guy and steal his gun. I mean, you just buy one. You're gonna succeed in There's life. Terror's up for murder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, but jeez. And, and 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 for meta knowledge, it is three people with three underbarreled grenade launchers attached oh, to their yeah. three AK 98s. This so is gonna hurt. Grog could wield two of them, and we'll sell the other one. <laughs> I love where your mind has gone. Thank you. We're, we're, we're going... Yep. So, so you guys want to uh, want to know? 
Um, do you is have there any other way sensor? in other sides other than this door? Is there like windows up high or anything like that? Big cargo doors, maybe that that truck can fit through. The races of the people inside. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's. Well, there's that, but I was talking about other entrances into the building. Is there, like, windows up top? Is there, um, uh, like, a big cargo door that the truck can fit through? There there will be a uh, a big roll-up cargo door kind of to the left of where we've driven. We've drawn three AK-98s. Um, okay. It's a bit of, like, one of those loading platform things. It goes down. You know, like, the ramp kind of goes down a bit, so it's even with the floor there. Okay. Um, and on the roof, uh, like the places where he threw the, the fly spy in, you know, like those are big, massive industrial vents. You could probably fit through it. Pretty much everyone but Grug could probably fit through them. <laughs> There's a couple of them just kind of around on top. Um, probably some windows on the other side of the thing outside but you can't know that for sure what kind of uh containers like crates like i don't know so nothing three really identifiable is like volatile no you know it's okay. i i would i would describe this as it is a warehouse where bad people do business not a warehouse where bad people store business yeah. So how many guys total are inside? Five. And what are their races? Their races, um you're gonna have an elf. Uh a an elf, a troll, and an orc are all gonna be next to the the door, and the other two are gonna be humans. So the elf, the troll, and the dwarf. The metal races are going to have the really good guns, and the humans have got the shitty ones. Racist. <laughs> but in the right direction, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> so humans can't get good guns? Are they all wearing the same colors? Black and gold? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Hmm. Mm. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you one more bit. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna be nice. They all look unnerved. All right. Do they <laughs> smell scared? They probably do smell scared. The factory senses are magic. Nice. I mean, I definitely didn't go through and spend all the time and effort on putting sensors on all my fly spots. What? That's yeah. crazy. So open the door, lead with intimidation or lead with just guns firing? I mean, uh, we could yell at them, right? I could yeah. Yeah. I got some uh, some pretty kicking bass on my truck. Could just uh, oh. Open the door, crank the volume. <laughs> yeah. I'd say let's uh, maybe uh, Grog, you know, pound open the door, throw the body through, tinker up your base, tell them weapons down, we're coming in, any resistance will be met with instantaneous death. I mean, I don't have any nutcrackers with me, but we could we could get some delivered, maybe. Come back later. I think we made our point. <sighs> I guess we did. Or, theoretically, we could just kind of pause the run for now at this tender moment. And uh, yeah. come back to it next week. Also That's not. a good idea. Yeah, I think that'll idea. work. Yeah. Yeah. And with that, how you feeling, Liam? <laughs> this is hard. Oh, it's not hard. 
<laughs> That's what she said. Oh, you're, you're not the one that, that started sweating. Why? What was... <laughs> Well, let, let's I just go just... around the horn and have everybody tell you what a fine job you did. Pretty good job, um, hear me. No, for for real, dude, you did a great job. This was this was really good. Oh, I'm gonna blush. Yeah, most definitely did. Um, thank you. You did fine. It means a lot. It means a lot. Yeah, I've I I've mean had worse. <laughs> I, I like where we went from stunning compliments to the compliment. <laughs> that's not really a compliment. I mean, it's true, but it's not really a compliment. Well, like, <laughs> you know, you mentioned something about your hands, you know, ha- knees weak, palms are sweaty, some spaghetti. Yeah. Um, so what were you, what are you feeling nervous about? What's What's got you so worked up? It's just, I, I mean, I just get sweaty when I'm, like even slightly nervous i'm just a sweaty person um that's attractive it really is i the reasons i shouldn't do this in person um Gee. i just imagine i'm just sitting there just rivets of sweat coming down <sighs> just like it's buckets of you'd, sweat you'd pouring probably, you'd probably off, be like... easier to be honest you'd probably be a little more laid back if it were in person yeah just um because we you, the the knowledge feeling the feeling of how much we have actually gotten together and gotten to know each other type deal it would also probably yeah. be because you see us more than once a week <laughs> it's true <laughs> well it's like also when you're in person though you can read the nonverbal cues at the table right if we're smiling yeah. if we're you know playing around on our phone or whatever we're completely disinterested but it seemed like everybody was engaged i mean we all had a good time we were all laughing at different times i mean i don't know about any else but dude i'm really enjoying the fact that i've that jurgen's becoming quite the little serial killer i <laughs> i wasn't oh, no. expecting you coming into this and killing everybody dude yeah. it's the thunder moths it's the thunder moths man like <laughs> what did the thunder moths do to you they're the guys who gave me and my buddy my first job, quote unquote, job as a child that got my buddy killed. Dun dun dun. Yeah. Yeah. Meta knowledge. Reasons, reasons I worked them into the plot. Oh, I know. I understand. <laughs> I understand where you were going. Um, I do yeah. want to give mad props for coming up with the idea to pit us against somebody who is one of our contacts to see how that would play out. Yeah, that was. I, a, uh, that was I, a in, in my head. Morally gray. I'm um, afraid I might have to burn this contact now. It's okay. We'll get. I don't one. know how much. I don't know how much he's going to end up having. Although you know, if we make enough of a hole, there may be a room for a promotion for him. We'll see how it happens. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. As for things that I'm just worried, it's just I. I know I'm taking a lot of time when I'm thinking of like dice pulls and stuff. And, um, you know, I really wish I could say the the l- very low end dice pulls that I picked at the beginning. I wish I could say those were because I wanted to be more of a pushover. No, that's just because I'm stupid. So, oh, no, I don't even because the rule of 12 and I thought of the rule of 12 and then I was like, ah, they're they're gangers. And then I just everyone started throwing their things and I was like, oh, gangers don't need to be that weak. So, um. I usually start with 12, 9, and 20. That's their, like, average dice pool. That's their initiative. And that's their soak. And then I yeah. go from there. Because, I... a body 3 guy plus an armor jacket is 15, plus a, a helmet or ballistic mess is 17, and then you can easily find three random points Reeves of armor something. somewhere in there. Yeah. Uh... Which is good to know. You know, you know the sad, funny thing is, um, when I was writing that stuff up for that thing I was talking about earlier, uh-huh. right? There is literally a section on that. Yeah, no, it's... where where I go through and I go like, I I, I kind of pulled from things that you think, and I just kind of wrote them down because it's a smart way to deal with things. Yeah, and uh, yeah, but and then and then. The awkward part is when I'm like, oh, I have no idea how magic really works. I have a vague idea. But it's ugh. magic is complicated because each of the different flavors each have different 
modifiers and slightly different rules like uh for illusion spells it matters if it's a physical or a mana spell it matters um if it's well the single or multi-sense stuff is is pretty obvious like multi-sense stuff affects multiple senses as opposed to the single sense stuff which affects only one like invisibility is a single sense because they can hear you they can't see you and in Jurgen's case they can smell you yeah. Well, I don't know. He has a house now. I have a house. Yeah, but you probably oh, no. reek a deep weed. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. that's okay. Sure. Like that's gangers would would gangers really smell that though? Well, do you guys uh, have those friends that smoke too much weed? I have yeah. those neighbors. Uh, no, I don't. Unfortunately, the moment they enter the room, we'd be like, "Oh, it's them. It's that guy." While it's true the gangers may have more accustomed to like the weed smell, it's it's possible if there's like you know, everything's always in context with, with Shadowrun, which is great. Yeah. Um I tried to, to keep my mouth shut a little bit because I talked to Liam a little bit about planning and execution and that kind of thing. And when you were like, go ahead and talk, and I'm like, oh, I'm totally throwing us right under the bus of doing bad things to Grug's contact. Because Tinker doesn't know. He's like, yeah, yeah, no, we'll make sure they don't show up for a bonus. It'll be fine. What could go wrong? Yeah. Yo. Uh, I mean, it's not your friend, so try not to think about it. Right. And more importantly, nobody said anything to her about it, like, Hey, I I know these guys. Let's not let's not dick them over. And the Grog's like, let's just go murder them. No, I wasn't the one who said murder them, but yeah, something close <laughs> yeah, to that. I'm pretty sure Jurgen was the one who was like, yeah, let's kill. Jurgen was the one that said, we'll just murder them. Heck yeah. I mean, murder makes not everything so much simpler. Sort of. Sort of makes things simpler. Yeah. Usually other? complicate things. <laughs> well, it makes things simple in the immediacy, but oh down yeah, the, down the line it tends to get a little complicated. Uh, uh, we'll see what happens, really. Yeah, it's it's gonna be kind of curious to see where things go from here because like there's a bit of a Mexican standoff, and uh, yeah, like we could just kick in the door, but that doesn't sound like a good idea. Yep, they're really, really armed. <laughs> they, they some have grenade launchers. Doesn't well, mean they have ammo for them. Doesn't mean they're good with them. I mean, there is that. Let, let, let's let's talk about grenade launchers real quick. And sometimes it doesn't matter if you're good with them. <laughs> you don't have to be I, good. I have seen close scatter. only counts in what? Just no. I mean, I've seen like grenade scatter, just like ruin things in ways that. Horseshoes <laughs> and grenades. These exactly. scatter rules are grenades. They only count for <laughs> what? <laughs> Get, yeah. Getting close enough. Yeah, you only need to get close enough. Yeah. I would almost say them not being good with the grenade launchers is more dangerous than them being good with the grenade launchers. You never know. <laughs> they might just like shoot at Grog, and then because scatter, it, 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 the grenade just like bounces back at them. I'm gonna treat that thing like a baseball. <laughs> I, I think there's an actual um, called shot to grab a grenade out the air and throw it back. There is. A potato? I forgot what it's called. It's, uh, in, um, it's right back at you. Right back at you. There we go. Yeah, it's like seven initiative and agility test and then a threatened weapons test. Oh, man. I think you're good with drone weapons. I mean, you just got to get a drone that doesn't suck. I, well, I, I'm working with the rotor drone. I'm <laughs> planning to get a drone arm. It's going to be great. It's going to be a fun. It's gonna be a chop off that that old gross meat arm. No, 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 not not no. Bert. No, he's not burning out. He's giving a rotor drone drone arms. Uh, that's just, just the silliest best thing. That's uh, hilariously useful. Yeah. Just, you know, money. Money is the biggest issue with riggers. Yeah. Money's a bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're, we're making money right now. Not yet. 
Got to get it first. Yeah, or we'll do Got it. Got to get it first. I mean. Might. <laughs> I'm not sure for the amount of money you guys are getting paid if I would go up against a bunch of guys with grenade launchers. I. That's me. You know, I, I have done crazier for less. This is okay. <laughs> I mean, this is true. We we have we have helped Grog out for free. <laughs> oh yeah, hey, and you guys did not have to. I said I was going there regardless, though. Well, I mean, y'all did not have to. Tara didn't feel comfortable just letting Grog do things by himself. Like when he's always he's a little worried. We're like, oh no, what if Grog gets hurt because I wasn't there? Like, what if they need my help? <laughs> Oh, good times. Good times. Very much so. Oh yeah, Tilt got chased down by a crazy woman. Oh, that's not that's not remind let's not remind me of <laughs> Let's not talk wonderful. about that. It didn't happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, is there say. anything else you wanted to um to bring up in the immediacy that obviously you can just bring stuff up later on. Yeah. Um if there's anything nitpicky, I, w- I would like to get small things that can change from point to point. Like, There's a, a thing that I'm going to steal, and I think I made you guys do it before. Um, Thorns and Roses? Yes. Okay. So I feel like we should start with Liam and go around the table and make them say something they liked and something they didn't like. Um... Okay, so roses. I love where you guys are taking this run. I I mean, I, I made it broad for reasons, but I love where this has gone. And it is it is warming my heart to, to see Jurgen really just kind of go a little crazy. Um, things I don't like? I mean, there's the obvious me not knowing the rules well enough, being very apparent. Um, otherwise, nothing really. I mean, you guys did very well. Nothing bothered me about that. It was, it was good. It was fun. There was lots of laughs. I enjoyed that. We have fun. You're again. That's a cop out. I know. Ah, uh, let's see stuff that i liked uh actually i mean i enjoy the combat nature like because it's uh and actually it's kind of my thorn as well is that i don't I, sometimes i still feel like i don't quite understand combat like like uh and being able to be involved in multiple combat so you know a couple weeks in a row where we're involved in combat it's getting me to the point where i'm it's all starting to click into place I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, Knowledge through use. Yeah. Practice, practice, practice. Yeah, because yeah, like, well, I mean, up until today, the only, I mean, I've been using, you know, Mana Bolt, and that's pretty much the only spell other than Levitate and the physical barrier that I've cast. So being able to do light, or uh, Flamethrower, well, Lightning Bolt and Flamethrower kind of both do the same thing, just with different oh. elemental effects. Mm-hmm. So being able to do both of those to see how it is just like shooting a gun because there's like a dodge test and then there's also armor penetration stuff like that. So I don't know. That's uh, helped click things into place for me. Good. Tara. Uh, let's see. Roses. I-, I loved all the little details in that bar you gave us. Like the creaking door and everybody goes silent yeah it's it's almost as if you can tell what parts of the run i really thought about before i sat down (laughs) (laughs) Uh, it was pretty good let's see i i'm bad with thorns i'm like ah crap but i I can't think of anything i'll I'll buy you some time but you got to come up with something (laughs) just Um, fill a bus for you man (laughs) it's easy to to think about the parts you know are going to happen like you know that there is going to be a meet. And the meet is a fantastic way of really setting the stage for the kind of run. For example, in the first run that I did for you guys, you went to a rich person's very nice estate with a very 
you know, wealthy to do. It kind of set the feeling a little bit. In the the other actual Shadow Run that you did, um, it was at a super racist bar. So you guys immediately knew that the person you were working for was a super racist. It's just kind of like, and here we have a a ganger bar full of ganger people with a ganger Johnson using another game. It's like, all right, this is going to be low to the ground, hands-on kind of job. It's kind of just like a a really nice way to um, to set that initial tone for a job. And now we'll go back to Thorns with Terror. Oh, God damn it. I don't have anything. Um, dude, dude, You're not I, getting out of it. Come up with something. Uh, hold on. I, <laughs> I mean, the easy thing is to poke fun at things I didn't do well. I'm a big boy. Oh, Tara no. is the thorn. Tara is the thorn, <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding, man. I'm just My kidding. thorn is I exist. All right, let's see. Um, I don't know. Anything that wouldn't just be like hilariously nitpicky and not constructive at all. Even that kind of stuff can be constructive, though. Get it. Sometimes. Yeah. Well, give it a shot. What do you got? All right. Oh, man. My, my only, the, the biggest complaint I have. You could have generated the names before the run. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry, I got generators I can give you. Don't worry. <laughs> he has them too because he sent it to me. <laughs> I have one. I have one. Which one? Uh, yeah, it's just like the... Itemcards.com. Oh, all right. I don't know that one. It's here. Have a have a random link. Have a link. <laughs> it's it's super useful. I'll be the judge of that. It's not actually super useful. It's actually kind of poorly made. I will click it. Hey, at least they tried. Oh, this thing. Yeah, I've seen this. Never mind. Hold on. While I'm while I'm holding on, Grog should should do his thing. Break shit? What? No. <laughs> Roses and thorns. Uh, roses and thorns. Um, I like the I like the run that we're going on. The clashing, the hearing now that the uh, one gang that hired us, the Thunderwood, the Thunder What's It's, and Moth. yeah, Thunder What's It's, yeah. <laughs> um, and then the other gang of the Rusty Blades, kind of playing against both or two characters in the group um, as contacts. Because you know it, the thunder what's its being with Jurgen, and then the rusty, rusty what's its being with me. So it's it's kind of like okay, we got two two of our contacts are now going against each other, kind of putting us in the middle of that. That's actually a pretty cool idea, you know. Um, coming up with the idea of us rolling in there uh, to this battle of the barge thing and just wreck shop to say no, you guys now give us money. Um, that that's almost like you know mafia style mafia type stuff of we're going in there to take stuff over and you will pay us so it's going to be kind of i'm interested to see where that oh, goes out i'm 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 gonna talking about mafia right i know mm-hmm. it's gangs but i tried to set this up and i know i did a poor job of it i was trying to go for a bit of like a creepy mafia in this part of town sort of vibe with the meat uh-huh. because you get to this bar right and the bar the bar is obviously some kind of front you know and then when the guy wants to meet you a wall becomes a door slides and slides away and then you go down this hallway to a lone table with like a flickering light and just a guy sitting at the head of the table waiting for you it might not be screaming like super mafia, but uh, yeah, it screamed more gang back, like back rooms ganger to me. But back, like the back room deals. Yeah. Um, I, I wasn't going, better. I mean like I wasn't going for mafia. If I wanted to do mafia, I would do mafia, but I was going for that, like the higher end of back room deal sort of thing. Yeah. 
low end mafia sort of. I'm trying to blur a line there because gangs and mafias are more or less the same, except for tone. At some point, mafias are gangs. They're just organized, well organized gangs with rules and stuff. <laughs> I was going for a high end gang sort of sort of feel. Yeah. Um, and then Thorn. Uh, it, it it goes back to business. I know. If you remember what I'm ta- if you remember what I'm talking about, business, business, it's business. It's a good business. It's bad business. I, I have only in this case it was with describing his arms and how menacing the guy looked. Yeah, you can, you can just tell us that he has that menacing look, and we can draw our own conclusions. You don't have to try to stress it. Don't you don't have to. I mean, it's not on you. It's not just on you. Um, as a a fellow DM, you know, not necessarily in Shadowrun, but in in games. Period. I understand the stress of coming up with something that's you feel is going to be entertaining to but the group not. that you're you're running with, and you just not wanting it to be a cheesy thing. Um, but don't worry about that. Okay. Don't don't stress it. You know, <laughs> we're we're here we're here to have fun, and we're gonna have fun if you're having fun. It depends a little bit upon what the uh, what the intention here is, because let's say let's say I'm going for more of a horror approach, and I could tell you that you're facing down a minotaur, or I could describe the seven foot tall humanoid shape with cords and just rippling muscle anywhere, giant furry head that has the most enormous horns that make you wonder how he remains upright on him. Okay. Which one of those two has more impact on how you feel about the situation? Okay. I, I see where you're coming with that. What I'm referring to though, in this, in, in this particular instance was okay. Seven foot tall cords rippling out of his muscles and horns on top of his head that just, make you wonder how he's standing upright i mean they're so big and large and you can barely see past them and you see what i'm saying yeah that that's what i'm specifically talking about of just the repeating the 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 one facet or one aspect of an individual scene um if i didn't know any better i would say okay i'm now going to investigate that because you're putting so much emphasis on just one aspect being in this case being the guy's arms yeah words it's a uh, <laughs> it's a practice it's a nervous thing. it's a nervous thing yeah it's a practice thing and a nervous thing i mean you wanted me to be honest and you wanted me to be open that was the only, that was the only really thorn that i had personally i can see it and i agree mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's like it's the business. Bad. I, it's it's just... like the business thing. I did. I well, will latch. And <laughs> I think the business thing was more of a joke because we had the whole story about Brewster's Millions and how we're in the business of doing business. No, no, that's just me being nervous. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was yeah, trying he... to think of. I was trying to think of things to say. Greg, Greg. I mean, Brewster's probably had a bit to do with it, but um, no. Greg, Greg read me pretty well there. I, I can uh, perseverate, I think's the word. Um, I can get stuck on that facet, and I will... Especially things that I think <coughs> look cool. Right. You know, or, or sound cool, or in my head, when I'm visualizing something, those are the things that stand out. No, and then I, I will just try to go on and on in an attempt to put everybody on the exact same page, but I don't need to. Depends upon the situation. Um, it does, yeah. I will I'll point out a similar thing. Like in the, the first room when you were doing, well, dealing with all of those Evo people, um, specifically the, the target whose name I can't remember or pronounce, um, I kept making mention of the fact that she had four arms in different ways as she was doing just normal people things. Niwe. Yeah. Niwe Dita. Um, because it's just like, she's not quite human. 
and that's an important part of her, her, uh, who she is. But I guess now it's my turn. Uh, yeah. I'm going to start off with my thorn, and it's that Yurian kind of stole my little scene from me. I wasn't expecting him to show up an hour and a half early. I was going to be just like in the room talking to the J, and then the three of you guys come in, and I'm just sitting there, and it's like, hey. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Sorry about that, brother. No, nah, it's all right. It worked out in an interesting way anyway, because it was like, what the fuck are you doing here? Um, was playing the rigor that I didn't plan on a surprise to you guys, or did you kind of see that coming after last week? No, I did I not see it coming after surprised. last week. I didn't see it coming either. Awesome. When, when, when you said like NPC, but now there's you know your PC. <laughs> yeah, when you when you said that there was a, a dwarf getting up and and walking away, I made the connection, and I thought it was hilarious. But other than that, no, I did not see a, I did not see this coming until that actually hit. Awesome. Yeah, that that warms my heart. Um, it was one of those things. It's like, oh my god, this would be too perfect because last session it was just like you know. We have these three guys that are here, and they just, you know, brought on uh, a driver. It's like, okay, you know, should be happy to to just make some money. To just, you want me just the secret service a car and provide fire support? Sure, easy money. Until you assholes showed up. <laughs> um, so then it was just like, all right, I'm gonna that scene where it's like, you guys come in. And it's like, oh, man, this is awkward. And then just the kind of the kind of friction that's there. It's like, all right, you going to go or are we cool or what's what's going on? Because, you know, yeah, I tried making it like I, I tried making sure that I didn't like get angrily violent with you. <laughs> oh. Oh, it was one of the things I brought up to It's like, all right, you know, I just there there could be some tension here. Just just putting it out there, but I I trust that the fact that they won't just you know like, oh no, frag that door. I'm gonna sh- shoot her next time I see her. Oh my god! Thank God, <laughs> Thank god this group isn't that psycho. <laughs> it's perfectly legitimate. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. I have another small thorn in, and this is probably just a, a practice thing. When Tara asked about cameras and stuff in the area, and you were like, "Oh yeah, no, there's cameras, but they're they're old, crappy cameras," he was clearly looking for something to hack and to do his thing to. Um, yeah, it, it's okay. Which I, I still have I... silly gunnery dice. Which could just be panicking in the face of Matrix. I, 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 you know, I completely understand and I don't blame you for like trying to shy away from Matrix. <laughs> the rules are painful I, and long. You, you know, you know, actually, so I didn't make that connection to literally this second at all. And that is something I should have picked up on. You are right. Um because in my head I have that visual. And I went with the visual, and I shouldn't have went with the visual. I should have went with the game, right? And like it, the inclusiveness of the game. And it makes and it makes sense for an old crappy barge that they don't really do anything but punch old each crappy other. Crappy warehouse, yep. Yeah, like that part of it all makes sense, but like he could have spotted comlinks to to mess with. He could have spotted smart guns to mess with, and that kind of stuff, or other vehicles. Did they have smart guns? I mean, they... one guy just had a knife. <laughs> one was a knife, one was a sword, knife. the other was like, a I'm knife, katana, sure. and an SMG. Yeah, like yeah. The, the one guy lucked out and had a real weapon. Um, <laughs> there are weapons from a more elegant age. <laughs> uh, an elegant age where dwarves set your face on fire. Yeah, whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> um, um, you have two settings. For yeah. Extra um, but for, for my final little rose thing, you did fine. Um, I hope that you feel that you did fine, because 
you gave an interesting premise in the way that I'm going to use a hook that was seeded earlier through the murder drug that you guys went and expanded upon by giving to other people and using on other people. <laughs> so, like, you, you grabbed onto one of those hooks, you took one of the the friendly factions to the team, and you plied them against each other in a way that was, like, makes for an interesting kind of situation. Grog mentions, like, you know what? I might end up losing my contact out of this, but, like, a job's a job. And it's kind of like, oh, man. It's that, yeah. that moral ambiguity of how Shadowrun kind of works out. We yeah, are in a little you. bit of a uh, big dick door kick situation where we're just kind of rolling up and just kicking in the door, but, you know, we don't know how far away reinforcements are. That's that's something to consider because these guys were here before we got here and it was only 20 minutes since uh, since we got the call to make the meet, so... We don't know how close their buddies might be. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not getting paid enough for you to wreck my car again. <laughs> no, I, I, I understand. You're not. So if you want to ditch out now, that's okay. I'll gladly take your share. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you already owe me for the repairs that I got to do now, all right? And You don't have to do any repairs. Your car didn't get hit. You no, didn't drive my... through a wall. You didn't run into nothing. No, you flipped it. Let's not even talk I about I don't the money you, you cost me from the I don't, job that I, we didn't get to complete, all right? No, no, no. I don't I know you that. I paid for that. You do owe me for I didn't, that. that. That's not my no. fault. <laughs> Just because you couldn't complete your job does not mean we owe you money. Yo, I did I'm my gonna job. Introduce you, I'm going to introduce you to a phrase that I use at work all the time. It's called piss poor planning on your part does not necessitate, necessitate an emergency on my part. I don't need to pay for your mistakes because you wanted to take me on. Somewhere. Can we just call it even? (laughs) 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 At this point, at this point, I'm fairly certain that myself and Tinker would both turn to Tara and simultaneously say either stay out of it or shut up. One of the two. (laughs) And then, of course, hashtag I'm sorry. Yep, there there would be that. <laughs> that's, that's, that sounds about right. <laughs> so I hope you're feeling a little bit better after we went through that, Liam. Yeah, I I mean, I feel as good as 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 you could feel for your first game mastering master session. <laughs> um, Words. <laughs> your first session um taking the reins to something that is the rules equivalent of a bugatti veyron when all you've ever driven was like one of those rinky dink 12 horsepower go-karts you know you're sitting there with 2000 horsepower and you and you're just like i have no idea how to do this <laughs> and there's all these shiny little buttons and you're used to just go pedal and turn um you're doing good. I told you at the beginning of this before uh, Bamps ended up jumping on board um, when you had this us all getting together early to yeah. uh, just chit chat. Oh, wow. You know, I was looking forward to it because, to be honest, this right here, what just happened, is the sole purpose of what Bamps is doing. Shadow walking. We are learning, each of us are learning how to do a different facet of this game. You grab the reins of one of the hardest facets of it, which is telling the compelling story with getting 99% of the rules right. We are not by any means expecting you to have the whole rule book memorized. There's going to be things that is that obscure rule of, Oh, how do you flip a car? Yeah. Oh, what, yeah. what, it, what is it that is it is it mana ball that affects willpower, or is it power ball that does willpower? Uh, I mean, that's what you can always ask for help. We're here. That's yeah. what we are all here for. I mean, we're all doing this. Personally, 
I, I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm proud of you. You did good. Thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm looking forward that. to next week. Agreed. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, that's good. That's I'm happy. I'm happy. We all had fun. We all we all were enjoying the story I set up. Um, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. <coughs> I'm doing that thing where I talk a lot. That's why. Um, <laughs> it's business. I'm going to do a, do a small correction, and that this is not necessarily the story that you set up. It's the story that we all set up. Like, yeah, I put out the murder drug. You guys decided to give it to to Shanks. Shanks decided to do whatever Shanks did with it. You took that, and you're like, you know what? Let's let's fold this back in as though we're kneading dough. You know, you kind of push it, you spread it out nice and thin, and then you pull it back on top of itself, and you push it out again. Yeah, okay. We could have all just right. been like, you know no. what? Here's a package of, of murder drug. Here you go. Pay us. <laughs> that did <laughs> cross my us. mind. That we know did cross my mind. We could have made bank... By saying, oh, you want murder drug? We can help you with that. But that would have then but we need us money. in a more interesting situation. Because then it's like, oh, I can just buy it from you. That's fine. I'll, I will buy a bunch from you. And then word gets around. And now you have exactly. another group that's like, oh, hey. I hear you have this awesome murder drug. How much would you like for murder drug? And all of a sudden organizations that are selling drugs to these gangs are like, whoa, you're moving in on our turf. Or worse, the guys that originally the the humanist guys that gave us this found out about it. Mm -hmm. Or Lone Star or the German equivalent. Oh no. (laughs) Not police brutality, the organization. Bunch of jackbooted thugs, I believe they're described as. (laughs) Hey, leave me alone. (laughs) But if nobody else has anything else they want to talk about, I would love to get some sleep. It's been almost 20 hours of awakeness. Right. Yes, yeah, I'm I sorry agree. Enough, I will do that as well because i got a big test tomorrow. Yeah, I wish you the best with your test, Greg. I do appreciate it, sir. Uh, see you guys. Good night. See you guys. Good night, guys. Yeah, good night. See you next week. Yep, yep.